All right, thanks for joining us on Valley News Live. Hey, we do have some thunderstorms that have been rumbling through. They got an early start this afternoon in the Devil's Lake area. And we've had some beautiful photos shared of these dark and ominous clouds in the Tokyo area. Keanu, thanks for uploading the storm clouds as they move through your area. Take a look at this picturesque scene as the Hillsborough area saw storms pushing in. Dark clouds as we hear rumbles of thunder over the studios here in South Fargo at this time. So the storms really fired off and moved through the Devil's Lake Basin and the Highway 200 corridor, seeing a lot of rain and some pretty stout thunderstorm activity. But the severe levels have dropped off now as we've headed into the evening hours. There's still a risk that we could have some severe weather, so we'll continue to monitor things. But by and large, the risk for that large hail and whatnot seems to be uh, waning just a little bit, and that's the good news. We still have a severe thunderstorm watch for the remaining counties here in the Red River Valley of North Dakota and western Minnesota, also down into South Dakota. Tornado risk is also going goodbye for the most part as we head into the late night hours. Uh, those would be more typical in the early afternoon towards early evening. But we're going to keep our eyes on the skies as we see the water washing off our lens here from our Valley Sky Cam. We were 90 moments ago at Hector, now 81 degrees with thunderstorms cooling us. Look at those gusts to 43 from those thunderstorms out of the west. Storms are moving from west to east, and those west winds going to bring some re refreshing relief from the heat. Look at Grand Forks. Temperatures have cooled into the upper 60s there, 73 in Roseau. It's 82 degrees right now in the Detroit Lakes area and 86 in Wapaton. A look at that radar. We do have the thunderstorms that moved along the Highway 2 corridor now moving right into the Red River Valley between Grand Forks, Crookston and the FM area. A few storms down south of us into Richland County as well. And then out to the west, we see the clearing line taking place in our western counties. Zooming in a little bit closer, Ada, you have a line of storms making your way, its way through. It's these two storms here, the one moving into Ada and the one that's crossing over Hillsboro, the second wave for you now. Uh, those two storms are the most organized and have a history of some severe warnings. We did get some hail reports, uh, upwards of ping pong ball size hail from those and wind gusts to 61 miles per hour as they move through. But they have substantially weakened. North of those two storms, it's garden variety thunderstorms in Thief River Falls. Uh, the risk for severe uh, not present up to the north. That includes Grand Forks. That includes Crookston and out towards Faustin as well. Now. These storms moving eastbound at about 25 miles per hour will continue to see that threat move now into our western Minnesota counties. As we look into Fargo, the heaviest of the rain, South Fargo, South Moorhead, down towards Kindred and uh, Leonard starting to see things clear up and again. Richland County seeing the activity. So this batch of clouds that's moving through the FM area in Moorhead right now will be on towards Glendon by 527 and Barnesville by 557 as it's moving off to the east at that clip. Now this storm here, look at that outflow from it. Pretty interesting feature there and you see this light green shade, the cool air blowing out the back of the storm. It's a, called a gust front. We can oftentimes see some scary looking clouds form along that leading edge. Western Polk County, just garden variety thunder showers for you. Big picture, more storms in South Dakota and your hour by hour forecast shows that as we get through the late evening, this thing really is done. We could see some remnant thunder shower activity as we go into the overnight hours, particularly in eastern South Dakota, according to our model here. So uh, those look like they could be stout and heavy rainers, but temperatures for most of us will dip down into those 60s as we go through the overnight hours. Clouds east and showers for some of you, sunshine out to the west, and that's how you start your Friday. And then heading through the rest of the day, it won't be as warm. We'll have a northerly flow. It'll be pretty light and all in all things are looking high and dry for our Friday, only not as high as today's 90 degrees in the FM area. Starting out at 60s tomorrow, we warm into the low to mid 80s. Beautiful sunshine, the wind not too bad, around 15 miles per hour from a north northwesterly direction. The evening looks beautiful and quiet to close out your work week. All of us near 80 to maybe as warm as 84 in a few locations. And here's a look at those storm clouds once again as our picture of the day. The seven day forecast shows the heat returns for the weekend. Saturday sizzling at 88, Beth 91 on Sunday and breezy. In the heat of next week, as we see temperatures near 90 degrees for the first couple of days, we could see some scattered strong storms. We'll keep our eyes on those as well.